Good day all and welcome to another episode of Game of Thrones <coughs> Excuse me, part one um, Or episode one, but since I already used episode in that sentence, it didn't really work Yay! Grammar! Um, but yes, welcome back And we're gonna dive straight in Ethan has been summoned to do shit Oh, the White Hill. White Hill guy? They showed up unannounced. Lord White Hill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord White Hill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The White Hills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Oh, they shit. Were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's yeah. I don't know, though. I want to... I want to be strong, but I don't want to die. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get a handle on this guy. His hair looks interesting already. Is he fat? Yeah. He's quite podgy. Oh, he's very podgy. <coughs> Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Dick? I've been waiting for this day all my life. My father died a hero. Fighting for the North against traitors and oath breakers. Ah, like you. And look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. A no house. Purchases. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, fuck. That's how you talk to a lord. You yeah. Foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? is the warden of the North. Not you. We've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. <laughs> this guy's mouth. You're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You this stay on the job. Guy is a prick. From us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? This guy's a prick. Oh, it's Bulka! Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keep Bollocks! He says his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Bollocks! Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? You're an arsehole. And you are the lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men... Murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers are worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking soldiers are dicks if that's what they do? He's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me. Who's the one who did it? I did. I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. Yes. Until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Yeah. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, no disrespect to you, my lady. Why is he holding his penis? This. This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By right, yeah. word is law here. Yeah. If that displeases you, 
Fuck off. <laughs> well, you know, fuck off. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Yep. I stand by everything I said to that prick. Oh, I'm gonna get that bowl cut. I'm gonna slice it right off his head. You were strong, boy. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Yes, she's in shit. Yay! I think I did a good job. Probably not. <laughs> I'm probably going to regret half of that, but I did my best. Oh! King's Landing! A handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Ah! Now we're in King's Landing. Hello. Look at the box. What's in the box? It's not locked. Oh, is this my box? My things? A coin? Asha sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Ah, Essos money. Bert? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. We work for Marjorie. That's cool. I like Marjorie. Marjorie's amazing. Ethan made this for me. She's got her little box of keepsakes. It's so cute. Oh, what is it? What is this? Unfinished letter that makes her look so tragic. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming year. Ah. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. Oh dear. I wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss oh dear. all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Oh, That's so sad. Oh well. We've got to play our part, Mira. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like someday. Well, when we die, we will <laughs> see them. Look out the window. Just don't jump. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Probably not. It's cold. Enjoy the warm weather while it lasts. Letter from Mother. What did Mother say? It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Okay. We should be able to get help from Marjorie. Marjorie's awesome. She was trying to help like everyone. Okay. The door. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm very slow, okay? Sorry. Oh, sorry, my lady. Oh my god. Small child. With the deepest voice you've ever heard. No? What is it? Fine. Come in. What is the problem? Small child with man voice. Begging your pardon, lady, but is he doing anything? Oh no, there is stuff he's picking. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. I'm good at that. 
I avoid questions. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. He's filling something, but I'm not sure. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You've been watching. <laughs> I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning. Outside the royal sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Oh. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? Uh-oh. Shit. This... This kid is useful. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Can you spy on me more? People don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. He sounds useful. Good night. It's fucking daylight outside. When do they go to bed? Jeebus. Ah, there's Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. You're Hello. Boobs! Give me time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Boobs! Um. And I'm gonna pause it here. I know, I know. I could probably go on a bit longer, but I I'm worried this is gonna get into something, and I don't want it to get into something that I I don't want to stop. So um. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, intense. So Marjorie and Cersei have been arguing over House Forrester. Um, I'm sensing this might be when my interrogation's coming up and I don't want to anymore. I'm scared. Cersei scares me. Um, but Marjorie will support us because Marjorie is awesome. If she doesn't, I will be very angry. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I, I enjoyed telling off the Lord. Um, I think I'm going to try and be a strong Ethan. You know, fuck diplomacy. This is Game of Thrones. Diplomacy doesn't really get you anywhere in this this game. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it too. And I can't wait to play some more. So I will see you all next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye!